and the high demand for testing, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. But just when we got used to swabbing our noses to catch traces of the virus, new claims have started popping up out there saying there's a better way. This morning, Hope Ford verifies if a throat swab is better at detecting Omicron. On TikTok, user and journalist Allison Hall posted a video of herself receiving a negative result after swabbing her nose, then a positive result after swabbing her throat. Her positive result was confirmed by a PCR test. Then the hashtag swab your throat popped up on Twitter in recent days. So is a throat swab better at detecting Omicron than a nasal swab? Our sources, the FDA, the University of Hong Kong, South Africa's National Health Laboratory Service, and U.S.-based epidemiologists and researchers. This one needs context. A group of U.S. researchers studied 30 people and found saliva tests or throat swabs picked up a positive result before a nasal swab did. The study, which hasn't been peer reviewed or published, concluded Omicron is better detected by saliva. A study from South Africa, which also hasn't been peer reviewed or published, showed throat swabs detected all Omicron cases, but 71% of Delta infections, while nasal swabs detected 86% of Omicron infections, but 100% of Delta cases. Throat swabs are used in other countries in combination with nasal swabs to test for COVID-19. But in America, the FDA stands by nasal swabs, pointing to the sheer number of cases already detected by the method. The FDA adding it can be complicated to self-administer a throat swab and can cause false positives as they're not supposed to eat or drink 30 minutes before. Epidemiologist Eric Fagel-Ding telling Today, it's not that an at-home test won't pick up Omicron in the noses when swabbing there, it just might pick it up a half a day or a day later. So there's evidence to support a throat swab showed positive results for Omicron faster, but there's also evidence to show nasal swabs work well for the majority of people. I can't get with the thought of the throat swab, though. Experts suggest to retest if you do get a negative test with a nasal swab, but you still have symptoms or you are in contact with someone who has the virus.